So how do you flatten a large slab with multiple passes? Let's talk about that. I just had a question from my new friend James, and James asked, he says, I'm wondering how to set up multiple passes to flatten a wide slab. How do you set up multiple passes in Vetric? I think that's the actual question. So I'm gonna jump into Vetric here and we're, we're gonna see what we can do with that. So we're in Vetric, uh, it's in VCar Pro, and I'm just gonna do create a new file. And we're gonna make a slab here. Uh, let's just say this slab, it's, we're just gonna say it's 24 long and let's just say it's 15 wide. Let me, uh, get that set up. All right, we're going to say it's four inches thick. All right, and I'm just going to make our slab here quick, sets it up. So the first thing we want to do is we want to set up a, a perimeter for our flattening bit. Okay, I'm just going to create it uh, from corner to corner here. Click apply. Okay, why it's highlighted. I'm going to go ahead and go to the offset, which is right here. Hit the offset button. I want to go outwards. I'm just going to go half an inch. It'll vary from, from your bits. If you haven't seen my video on how to flatten a slab or how to flatten a cutting board, it goes through all this. Same principles. So do the offset. Hit close. I want to delete the one that's highlighted. So I'll just hit delete. And now we have our perimeter all set up. So we're going to go ahead and go up here. And we're going to hit that to uh, go to our tool paths. Now that we're with tool paths, we're going to go here. We're going to hit our pocket tool path. Let me get rid of these couple here. We're going to select. We're going to select a flattening spoil board bit. I'm not going to worry about the feeds and speeds right now. This is more about how to set up multiple passes. So this thing was four inches thick. Let's say you wanted to take an inch off of it to flatten it. Say it was really warped bad, and we're going to. I'm just going to put an inch in here our spoil board bit let's go to edit here for a second all right we're gonna hit edit and you can see the where's the pass depth it is set for one eighth of an inch now some are gonna try and cut deeper but you know when you're doing a slab and it's all wavy you know you always want to set your z at the highest spot that you can find on a slab you know you want to find that high and that's your z height and you're gonna work from there down okay so we're gonna do that so i'll go okay so that's why we set one inch you got a four inch slab that we're pretending with and you got the waves maybe you want it's gonna to have to go an inch down to be totally flat but you don't want to do all of that in one pass you want to do multiple passes you don't want to have to do one pass and then reset your z and do another pass and reset you want to do them in just little steps all the way to that one inch so here's where that comes in we're make sure you're set on raster right here when you're doing a slab, you want to be on raster, okay? And look, we're going to go right here to edit passes. Right now, to go one inch with this spoil board bit, we need eight passes. But maybe I think this is too thick to get down to that one inch. Maybe I want to do more passes. So I'm going to go down here to number of passes. And let's say I want to do it in 20 passes because I want to take away, it should be 0 0.05 inches. Let's see if I'm right. Yep, so I want to do 20 passes. You can see how much is going to come off of each layer, right? You're going to take 0 0.05. Each one of these is a pass that it's going to make across your spoil, across your uh, slab. Okay, so all we have to do is hit set passes. And then we just click OK. And look, now we have 20 passes. And then always do a ramp move. Uh, just for the sake of kick giggles here, we're just going to go 0.5 and I'm just going to leave this as pocket one and I'm going to hit calculate. You can see it, it's showing, uh, let's give this a different angle here. You can see here, these blue lines are showing how deep or how many passes we have. It's showing all 20 passes going through that slab. So we hit preview, all tool pass. And it's going to show it's going to go 20 times to flatten this slab, right? You don't have to reset anything. It's just going to take those thin 0 0.05 off each time it goes across. And eventually you'll work through all those waves and bumps and get it pretty flat. And there you have it. And if you haven't watched the video on how to flatten a cutting board and set that up, it's right here somewhere. It'll help you with this too. Uh, otherwise, James, thanks for the question and uh, go be great.